<laughs> no, I didn't look at it. And then suddenly when I was about 16, 17, I discovered the Portobello Road. I discovered little dresses. I discovered cinch waists. I discovered red lipstick very early on. And people were like, yeah, you look really nice like that. So it, I sort of just adopted it because I looked dreadful in what everyone else was wearing. In, in the modern clothes at the time. Yeah. yeah. So we're talking about sort of what, late 60s, early 70s? No, no. I did not study fashion at St. Martin's or anything, and I wish I had. It's just not how my life worked out. I did graphic design for a year, and all through my childhood, I was also like designing posters and things. I love graphics, and I think really that um, handbags almost, and I, but I do like shape as well. Mm. So I think handbags almost became like a vehicle for me to um, put my words, you know, sayings, my pat, my uh, prints, whatever it was, whatever really I was thinking. Or your personality? Yeah, my personality. It was a way of, of, of putting it on the bags. Um, and actually, how I came into handbags has nothing to do. It was a sort of odd thing. I got married and I was about 26. And I've been working, doing all these jobs I didn't really like doing. Um, but now, I would say for anyone, whoever has to do a job that they don't see the point in or you're like, this is a real slog, you will learn something there that will be invaluable to you in the future because just office culture, you know, um, you, want to, you want to be a designer or a journalist, whatever it is, office culture, you know, I have 40 people, 36 people in an office. They've all got to get on, they've all got to tolerate each other, you know, we've all got to bring the best out of each other, you know, so you, you, I learned a bit of office, how offices work, or you learn, I learned how to write a PR, um, press release, it, press release. I mean, it, admittedly about industrial office furniture, but, you know, I know that I have the skills. But anyway, so I sort of got through that, and then when I got married, I thought, okay, I want to stop working. What I need to do is invent something really brilliant that is just going to make me so much money, I never have to work again. Um, so that is kind of an odd thing. 